My first job was working in IT for the Metropolitan Police. IT Naturally is a socially conscious IT managed service provider, so we look after other companies' IT for them. One word I'd use to describe being a founder is exhilarating. Mmm, mine's a delicious lemon and ginger tea. Judy Bishop, take one. I'll have succeeded when? I actually think we already have. When I started this notebook, I was working for Thomas Cook. It was getting a bit obvious that Cook was in a, in a lot of trouble. And I got a phone call from the CIO at Condor. Condor is a, an airline in Germany that has about 5,000 employees. And he called me and said, Julie, please, can you set up an IT company? And can you look after my IT infrastructure for me? I was 55. Never wanted to have a company of my own in my life. But I've just watched 23,000 people lose their jobs, and that's a really horrible thing to see. We've kept Condor going, which was the whole purpose of setting up the company. We're now taking on a number of um, other clients, which we're really enjoying, and we've got a great business. So I kind of feel we, we've made it. We've got to keep it going, but we've made it. When and what was your biggest hurdle? The thing that we found hardest is selling. We're a company of IT nerds who get very excited about IT. And we're also really, really um, strong on service. And I can run a business. I know how to run the business. You know, Richard does the numbers, I do the HR. We, we can do everything but selling. It just felt really difficult to sell because you're trying to persuade other people to buy into what you're doing. And I know a lot of founders are natural salespeople and they, they can sell, but they have other bits that, uh, that are their challenges. For us, us selling has been our challenge. Considering we're rubbish at selling, we sold about one and a half million of new contracts last year. But the first year, we were just, I was just embarrassed. Sustainability and social good, nice to have, so business critical. Whether I call them business critical or not, I don't know, but they're critical to me and therefore essential to the way that I run my company and the way that I run my life. I'm, I'm a Christian. My, my faith drives all of the decisions that I make. So the way that I, the way that I want to treat people, the way that I believe in people and, and want them to grow, believing in the planet, becoming carbon neutral, all of these things are a, re, a really key part of my faith. As if being a founder wasn't enough, I'm also doing, um, doing a lot of theological training on the, on the side. And that's, that's also really helping me understand and develop the place that I want to have in the world and the way that I want to improve the world. If you were to give one single piece of advice to the founder, what would it be? Trust your team, believe in them, invest in them, really expect amazing things from them, expect more from them than they think that they can achieve. But in the back of your head, always remember, it's your company and they will never want to give as much to it as you do. So don't expect them to. You have a very interesting hiring policy. Can you just talk about that? Yeah, we believe that everybody needs a needs a chance. Just because you've got um, a good educational background doesn't actually mean that you're any good at IT particularly. The key thing is, is attitude. Do they have the right attitude to be part of our company? Do they treat everybody with respect? Do they treat everybody equally? Do they really care about the outcome and, and, and our customers? And then the um, second thing is aptitude. So do they actually have the right way that their mind works to work in IT? You have to have a certain way of logical thinking and flexible thinking to, to be successful in IT. We genuinely aren't interested whether you've got a degree, a master's, a PhD, or you left school with no qualifications. That's pretty irrelevant to us. We'll take you on and we'll invest in you, train you, and watch you grow. I think one question you could have asked is, do you regret the decision to become a founder? What would your answer be? Absolutely not. It's been great fun.